Uh, yeah, years ago, yeah, uh, in the 90s, mid-90s, uh, me, Johnny Lee Bindon wasn't getting on, mate. He just wasn't getting on. I mean, the time we had a fight, early, early times, uh, he's never really forgot it. I never really forgot it. Uh, that time I see him at my, my dad's, my father-in-law's house, my dad, I mean, my father-in-law's house, and he was sitting there, but he was very ill, yeah. But before that, I um, forgot to say, is that um, I was out, I went out, I went out for about, what, three or four hours, and uh, I come back, and the old man, uh, my, my girl's dad, uh, was sitting in my front room. But as I walked up the stairs, I could see my, my, my father was sitting there, yeah. As I come into the, because I had massive, massive, massive front room, mate, with big gates on it, beautiful. As I walked in, I got a settee to the left, one to the right, up, got three or four stairs, and I got big front room, uh, front dining room, front room up the top as well. So, as I walked in, who was sitting to the left of me? Bindon. And I thought to myself, what the fuck's he doing in my place? Do you know what I mean? I don't live in my house. I don't even want him to know where I live, yeah? But he's with my, my father-in-law, Mickey Johnson. And they're sitting there, yeah, talking. So I walked in there, and my face changed, yeah, when I see Bindon. A fucking, but this is before he's really got ill, yeah? So I'm sitting there and he's talking. He went, oh, mate, oh, you all right? I said, yeah, shook his hand. And I've got a really, really good grip, yeah? I shook his hand and I fucking shook it and I hurt it, you know what I mean? Because you can tell by his face. And I shook it and I hurt it, yeah? And I thought, and he, and, he, and he was getting really leery, talking to me about this, talking to me about that. And he said, oh, yeah, I remember years ago, he said, uh, when we had a little fight, me and you, uh, down at the Cromwellian, and he said, I'll put you on your ass. I said, yeah, John. I said, but you weren't about after that, mate, was you? He went, you could have got, you could have found me anywhere, mate. But he wasn't an argument. It was just about speaking, yeah? But you got me, you got my girl's dad sitting there. And you got Danny. She's out in the kitchen uh, making drinks. So I'm glad she wasn't in the front room when he was saying that. Because if, was, if she was in the front room when, I, when he was saying that, then I would have thought I would have been obligated to some boink, hit him on the chin. Do you know what I mean? Might have been stabbed up, I might have got stabbed up or whatever. But that's one of the reasons I went down to his club. Yeah, yeah, the club. And that's one of the reasons I went down the club um, to, to see him, yeah. Uh, because I don't want people coming to my gaff, to my house. It doesn't even, it doesn't even if it's with my father in law. I don't want people coming to my house. And I, so I went to the club and Alan Stanton, uh, Alan Stanton, he's a lot of gangster, Alan Stanton, but a lot of people know him. And the Stanton, when I went there, I said, is, uh, is he there? He said, no, he ain't here. And his name is Biffo. His name was Biffo. And, and I've always said that my name is Biffo. My name ain't Biffo, but I, Biffo is John's name. John Lee, you know, so John Lee Bin's name. But they always said my name is Biffo, but it ain't Biffo. It's John. So Alan Stanton said to me, he ain't here, mate. He said, uh, I said, you know who he is? He said, no, no, I think he's with uh, Mickey Johnson. My father-in-law, you know. So I said to Alan Stanton, I said, listen, I said, he came to my house the other day, he got right Larry uh, Al, you know what I mean? Saying about the time he knocked me out outside, outside the corner and the my road, yeah? I said, that was years ago. That was like, like 30, 25, 30 years ago. And the geezer wants to scope, uh, bring it back up, you know what I mean? He wants to cause, wants to cause a problem. He said, yeah, he's, you know, he's like, well, he's got... He's got a big mouth, he's, 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 he doesn't mean it, you know what I mean? I said, John, uh, Alan, I said, you tell him for me, mate, he's out of order. He said, listen, he said, I ain't saying that way. He said, it'll kick off, you know what I mean? It will kick off, he will come looking for you, mate. I said, well, you need to come looking for me. I said, I'll stay away for him. He said, he ain't coming back, mate. He's with he's with uh, your father-in-law, yeah? No one really knows this, what's happened yet. Anyway, I goes back to my house in Kingston. And my father-in-law phoned me up and he said to me, listen, I've just been told, just been talking to Alan Stanton. He said that you went down there to talk to John. He said, what was that about? I said, listen, I, I, when John, you brought John to my place, which you shouldn't have brought him to my place, Mick, then Mick started shouting his mouth about it, he does. Uh, he wants, now Mickey wants to come over and over around me. I, anyway, so I'm saying, listen, you shouldn't have brought him to my house. It's disrespectful it's without letting me know first. You don't be someone to my house that I've all had a row with years ago, yeah? I don't like all that, yeah? He went, I don't know why you and John are like you are. I said, listen, me and John like you are because we had a fight outside of the corner and he put me on my ass. 
I said, you know, and, and it was lucky that I never came back to him. You know what I mean? Because I thought, you know, he didn't, he hit me on the chin, but it was just one of the things. I, 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 he caught me at the right time and put me on the arse. But as far as him ever beating me, that would be a no-no. You know what I mean? be a no-no, mate. You can't beat me. Yeah, maybe with a big knife in his hand. He said, ah, oh, don't start all that fucking fighting game. You know what I mean? You two are the same sort of people. You behave yourself, you know what I mean? So then I had to go to the old man. So you know, got in the car with Danny, drove around to see the old man and, and Dina, Dina Johnson, her mum, and she's a white gangster, Dina. She's a beautiful woman. Go around there, sitting down there, having a dinner, having a bit of dinner in the house, yeah? So the old man said, me, come in the front room, I want to chat with you. So there's the old man doing lines, lines of coke on his table, saying to me, do you want one? I said, no, no, I don't want one. I was taking it, but I didn't want him to know that I was taking it, you know what I mean? I said, no, I don't take that shit. So he's taking it and taking it. He's getting more and more and more uh, mouth. He's getting more mouth coming out. He's, he's, he's don't stop talking shit. Um, he's saying, look, I've been there to do you right anyway. I said, listen, I'm your son-in-law. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean Binder do me? He can't do me, mate. He can't do me, uh, Mickey. He can't, Binder can't do me, mate. I don't give a monkey's what. He, Binder can't do me. I said, you arrange it. Me and Binder go over the park, right? Any fucking park. We go to Richmond Park, me and Binder never well. He went, oh, I'll arrange it. So he got back to me. He said, he said listen, Binder was with Alan Stanton and he said he wants to have a chat with you. I said, where is he? He said, it's over Richmond Park. <laughs> it's over Richmond Park, all right? So I said to the old man, Mick, get him, we'll have a row with the park. He said, it's over Richmond No, I know. He's over there to have a row with me, yeah? But I've got to be a bit aware because Binder knows uh, uh, I can have a row, do you know what I mean? And Binder knows he's putting on my ass, but Binder also knows that he can stab me up, all right? He thinks. He can stab me up. So I goes over the park, I drive over the park, and I'm on a, I'm on a big uh, Laredo Jeep, yeah? I went up in through, in through Kingston Gate, down the right up the hill to a car park, and he's over there, and he's over the field with Alan Stanton. They're just walking around the green. So I'm walking, I'm walking I've got a pair of uh, khaki grey shorts on, and I want a khaki, I can make me khaki, grey shorts, yeah, khaki, <laughs> fucking khaki shorts and a pair of trainers and a t-shirt, yeah? I'm a big lump. You know, I'm about 19, 19 and a half, 20 stone. Big, muscular geezer. So I'm, I'm walking over there. John's about, what, 17 stone, 18 stone, but well, crisp, about six foot two. Good body, you know, crisp body, you know? I'm big and bulky, he's this crisp up. So I'm walking with with, uh, with him, and I said, what's up, John? He said, listen, he said, all this fighting game is a waste of time. Do you know what I mean? He said, what do you want to fight me for, Ray? He said, listen, yeah, I knocked you out outside of the corner. I said, no, you knocked me out, John. I said, you hit me on the chin, I went, hit the floor. You didn't knock me out, mate. I said, and I come home, and you're sitting in my, you're sitting in my house and start talking about you knocking me out down the corner with him. Now, my Danny had been in the front room, it had been embarrassing me, then me and me and you had had a row. You don't do that, yeah? He went, don't keep talking about rows, yeah? Listen to this boy. He pulled out, <laughs> he's fucking murder job. He pulled out um, a samurai, but about, I don't know, 18 inches long. He pulled out a samurai out of his trousers. So as he pulled it out, like that, he pulled this out, because straight away I'm a threat, it's a threat, and it pulled it out, and it went, bang! I've hit John, Johnny Bindon, on the chin. I swear, may God strike me dead. I hit him on the chin. Right? The samurai's sword must have nearly cut, cut his penis off, and he's got a big old penis, mate, massive, yeah? And I hit him, he went like, as he went and pulled out and whoop like that, and it stayed in his trousers, yeah? But it sort of like went flop to one side. So I pulled this this uh, Samwise saw out. I swear to God, I ain't one of these people that stab people up, I don't do that. I ain't got to do all that, you know what I mean? I'm not into that shit. But I felt like it, you know what I mean? I felt like I was stabbing him, stabbing him up really bad, John. 
Um, he came over to the park and stabbed me up to hurt me, yeah? But I've hit him on the chin so hard, he spark out. He spark out. I understand it's gone to me. Listen, this is trouble, mate. You know there's going to be trouble now, mate. I went, listen, I don't know more trouble. Let's call it a day, right? So I stayed there, right? I stayed there waiting until he got up, right? I had the same white sword. I said, John, I said, John, leave it out now. Stop this, right? You not, I had to say it. I had to say it because I didn't want no more problems. I didn't want him plotting up on me with whoever, yeah? I said, listen, you knock me out outside the Cromwell Inn in Cromwell Road, yeah? You knew one day me and you was going to have it off. I've hit you on the chin. I've knocked you out because you come out with a big samurai sword to do me. I ain't got no swords. I ain't got no knives. I ain't got no weapons, no guns. I said, you come out with a samurai sword to stab me up. Let's call it a day, John. Do you know what, mate? Fair play. Fair play, John. He went, do you know what, mate? Come on, mate. I'm sure I apologise, yeah? He said, see this sword? Fuck this sword. He threw it into this place called Pen Ponds, yeah? In Richmond Park. He threw it into this... Two, in, there's two ponds there. He threw it into one of the ponds, this thing. He went, come on. I said, where are going to go? He said, come, you're going to my club. I went, nah, nah. <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't going to Daniel Club, John. He went, listen, let's call it a day. Let's go down my club. Come on, mate. Have a drink. And have a chat. I went down the club with him. Um, he's there, I understand. Um, I'm sitting in the club, and he goes out the back to his little private room. Um, all of a sudden, my father walks in, Mickey Johnson. Mick comes in, and he went, what's up with you two fighting? He says, it's ridiculous. Stop all that silly bickering, 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 bickering. He says, stop it now. He said, shake hands. And forget about it. He said, come on, you're, big, you're both big people. He said, listen, come on, mate. Together you're, being, you're, you're a, bit of a bit of an handful. Come on. And he said, he got the child out. He got the coke out, John. That's the first time the old man seen me on the coke. And I was stayed there for about three hours on the gear, out my nut, laughing and joking. Um, went back to uh, Johnny Binder's mute. He had a muse flat, yeah? Went back to the muse flat. Uh, got a couple of three girls from the club over there. Let me tell you something, mate. <laughs> Let me tell you this, yeah. You don't want to go to a club uh, with Johnny Bindon. And you don't want to go to his place with Johnny Bindon. You don't want to go anywhere with Johnny Bindon when he's got birds wrapped around him. Let me tell you something. He pulled his trousers down. Right? His old... old <laughs> <laughs> his old bill, right, was as big as my arm. Look at how my arm looked, it's as long as my arm, I swear. Long and as thick as my wrist. And I went, fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? What chance you got? <laughs> what chance you got? Do you know what I mean? It's embarrassing. And I saw I kept mine in my pants. <laughs> I kept and my father in law. And Alan Stanton, and there's Johnny Binder just walking around, he's flashing his fingers like his, his dong is going all, in and out all over the gaff. Yeah, I love Johnny Binder, mate. He was all right. He was all right, John. Uh, after after everything me and he went through, he was all right. And uh, and then and then eventually uh, when I see him, um, and you know he looked really really bad, and it's, you know I felt sorry for him. Um, but when I say I felt sorry for him. Do you know what I mean? The kids, someone like that, mate, who's, he's done everything in his life, you know? Uh, there's a big thing about him and Lady Margaret in there, you know what I mean? But it's always, that's the, in the book, I've been told. Um, it's a big thing. Uh, Johnny Bindon told me loads of loads of things about what's going on with Vicky Hodge, I think, Vicky Hodge and the island, uh, and Mark, Lady Margaret and all them sort of people on the island and all that. It's, um, you know, it's a fucking, it's a big story. But you don't want to put it on a podcast, you know what I mean? You can't pull it out on a podcast, mate. It's too much, you know what I mean? But he told me big stories, John. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Mail. Uh, please press the like button and subscribe. Nice one. Take care. I can tell you lots more, but I don't want to. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>